There's not much out there on dog trot houses and how they work, so I'm going to explain it to you really, really quick. Sorry for my Jimmy Neutron hair. Need a haircut there. Anyway, so here's how a dog trot style house works. It's very simple. It works on Bernoulli's principle. As the speed of air increases, then pressure decreases. So what they used to do, and these were popular in the American South before there was electricity. Um, so what they used to do is, is here in Texas anyway, then in the summertime, wind comes from the south. And basically what you're gonna do is have a long central hallway in these buildings that is aligned to the, the southern prevailing wind or the, the wind coming from the south in the summertime. Now this is all about, in the American South anyway, keeping a house cooler. So here's how it works. We've got this summer wind blowing through the building. And here in Texas, like I said, it's coming from the south going to the north. That's the reason I drew it this way. And so we've got a huge low pressure area inside the middle of the house. And if you open the windows on the two main living spaces, there's two living spaces. We've got a wraparound porch. You've probably seen those when you think about the deep south. And you open a window and because there's a huge low pressure system or area here, then it's going to create a vacuum and suck air through the living space into the hallway and then out. And so because the, the main hallway is so large, then, and the windows are small, then the pressure never equalizes and the breeze stops. So what happens is every single time the wind blows, a low pressure area is created and then it draws air through the home, just like a breeze. It's like having, it's being indoors, but with that constant summer breeze. And if you're from Texas, you know that a lot of times in the summer, the wind's blowing 20, 25 miles an hour most of the day. And that's pulling air just like a summer breeze all the way through the house all the time. And most of these were done with like kitchen and living area on one side and beds on the other side. So if you shut all the windows on this side, then the pressure difference increases and you get more of a breeze, more consistent, more powerful breeze through the, the bedrooms while everyone is sleeping. That's how they work. So before there were ceiling fans, before there were box fans, before there were little plug-in fans, before there were wall unit, AC units, all that other stuff, this is how it was done, using the natural breeze of the South. Now, how you do a mashup. This is how I did a mashup. This only took me a few minutes. Yours is gonna be a little more complete than this because you have more than a passing period to do it. So here's what I did. I took a green roof. So here's my, my sketch of a green roof and that has all sorts of pros that go with it and you're gonna list all that. I made my walls out of hemp creek and there's a place for the, the pros on that. And with plastic bottle construction, of course, you've already done all that research when you looked up those 15 different home designs that I listed in a previous video. So my walls are made out of bottles, recycled bottles, and hempcrete. My footprint is tiny, so I do have a tiny house, even though most tiny houses are, are built on trailers so that they don't charge property taxes, they're not permanent structures and all that. But I'm going to do my footprint very, very tiny, and I'm going to have a wraparound porch for increased outdoor living space. So I've got a place for my pros for being a tiny home. And mine's a dog run design. So I've got a central hallway and that, that uh, southern wind sucking through the, the house, creating pressure on the, on the big end and sucking through the house and pulling a constant breeze through the house. So there I mashed up for you five different techniques. So I mashed up five things. I got green roofs, dog trot style for uh, airflow, bottle houses or bottle walls for recycling and strength, hemp creek because it's fireproof, it's strong, it's light, and it sequesters carbon. And I've got the tiny house footprint for efficiency of heating and cooling. And that's how you do a building or a building design mashup.